All right, time to play some more receiver. Uh, what do I got in my pocket here? All right, I got myself the uh, 38 special. And uh, yeah, I need to find five tapes, so let's do this. Need to search the area here for any ammunition. Which would be real nice. Put that flashlight away for right now. Yeah, I just remembered that you don't need to holster your weapon when putting the flashlight away. You can just do that by pressing 1. Okay. Alright, let me just uh, go up these stairs here. I gotta make sure that there are no turrets that can hurt me. Oh, you know what? Completely forgot. Nope, nope. Alright. Got my gun loaded up and ready to go. Unfortunately, it's got one of the barrels, I think, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a welded shut, so... I'm gonna have to deal with that. Five tapes. I need five tapes. Got it. Nice. Alright, let's go take this turret out. Okay, uh, now how do I go down without hurting myself? I need to find a ladder somewhere. There it is. Okay. Pull out the uh, flashlight here. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. All right, cool. Got tapes going on. Uh, make sure I don't drop off this uh, ladder. One of the worst things that can happen. Wait a minute. That's a floppy disk. Uh, I'm going to go get that floppy disk. Just need to go down, right? Go down these stairs. Oh, there it is. The mongoose. Uh, let's see. All right. <laughs> Mind tech thing. Oh, 
I'll try anything too dangerous for other receivers to do. Okay, so that's uh, probably telling me that there's some secret stuff hidden somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to have to trust. Here we go. I need to get a good shot on that uh, camera. I think I got it. Oh, there's another turret over there. But before we do that, let me reload my weapon here. V, Z, R, Q. Whoa! Excuse me, buddy. <laughs> Jump out the side there. I'm in a very bad pickle right now. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh no, that was a empty, empty, empty chamber. The, the welded chamber. Got it. Okay, good. What's that? Oh, bullets. I can get bullets. Nice, nice, nice. Some bullets there. Let me reload my weapon. So, E, V, Z, Q. Right? Okay. And then R. E V Z Q then R. <laughs> That's what you gotta do when you play receiver. You gotta you gotta memorize stuff. Alright, let's pull out the Oh goodness. Oh you. Alright. Uh. These lights, man. They always uh they're there, I just don't see them. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in. Can't see me. Got it. Alright, okay. Ooh, balloon. <laughs> Grab some ammo. Lots of ammo. Good, good, good. I got the flashlight. I only got one of the five tapes. I need to find more. There's got to be a tape here somewhere. Inside this warehouse. I don't see any turrets. Oh, we got some bullets up there. It's probably like one, one bullet. <laughs> One's all you need. Oh, we got our uh, little it balloon here. I don't understand what the balloons are, but uh, yeah. The balloon. Some more bullets. Nice. And if I if I go silent, that means I'm really focused, so Excuse me for not, uh, saying anything. Okay, I think we were just here, right? Yeah, we were.
Okay, nothing in here. That's good. Ooh, more bullets. Nice. <sighs> Just collecting bullets, I guess. I need to find those tapes so I can level up. is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. <laughs> okay. That was a strange tape. Hmm, okay. Just take this uh, turret out here. Got it. I think I checked up here. I'm gonna go downstairs if there's a ladder somewhere. I don't think there's a ladder here, so... I'm just gonna go next door. Oh my goodness. Got these lights here. see that turret all right well do that over again I guess check the uh, gun opened it up Let's see V Z Q R Cooper's fourth rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls do you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? One? Uh, two? More like 20. In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, but all bullets end up somewhere. Unless you live alone in a rural area, there is no pistol or rifle that won't put your family and neighbors at risk. Even hollow point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot. It's common knowledge that you get better results the harder you try, but like most common knowledge, this is wrong. Receivers know that there is an optimal level of effort. Too low and you might slack off. 
too high and you can start to choke under pressure. In the middle, you get the best results. Ouch. Ah, and that wasn't that that wasn't that high. <laughs> so yeah, don't climb up ladders and jump down. It's a bad idea. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I got a um whatchamacallit? Floppy disk. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You can land on a railing, I guess, to save yourself. Alright, hold on just a second. Oh, there's a turret. Oh, <laughs> that was close. I, you know, I'm rather gonna just shoot the uh, turret here. go got two tapes I need three more and then I can get to another part of the game with more weapons oh many theories exist on the nature of the mind do we live in a simulation are our thoughts the result of chemicals and structures formed by random mutations or perhaps we are gifted with a soul by a higher power. The reason these questions persist is because previous attempts have failed to find a convincing answer. What is clear is that the mind harbors immense power over perception and that changing perception changes the most important aspects of reality. All right. I'm gonna take out this turret here. I think I got it. All right, let's go look for more tapes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally pressed my mouse button. That was pretty bad. Oh, wait, hold on. When explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not empty. They were saving their resources for later when it got really bad. When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually turns out that they never asked their family or, or friends for help. They were saving that for later when it got really bad. If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. Okay. I guess uh, I should ask for help. <laughs> uh, no. Well, you know what? I need to find one more tape and then we can get to the next level. So let's... Where are these guys going, huh? Got a turret right there. Oh my goodness! That was close. Oh. Falling glass. Okay, that's bad. There we go. Got a good clear spot right here. I can... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Four out of five tapes. I almost had it. Hmm. 
Five tapes. I need five tapes. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads to confusion, impaired decision-making, anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? There we go. Grab those bullets. Receivers know that the biggest predictor of success is true grit. The ability to maintain resolve in the face of adversity. The only way to develop this trait is through practice. Need to find more tapes. Where are the tapes? It's so weird. Every time I uh, aim the uh, the uh, gun at a turret or something, I hold my breath, thinking that would actually like help, but it doesn't. <laughs> Okay. Looks like there's a turret here somewhere. Aha! I spotted it. Oh. No, you don't. That was the uh, block chamber. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Every single day is the worst day of my life. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Every day, I step over junkies and, and human waste on my way to my third job, just to make a, a dent in my mountain of debt. The planet is dying. The rich, the rich own everything. We keep killing each other for no reason. I'm ashamed to be a part of this world. I give up. Oh, come on. What was that all about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tried my best to fight it. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I Well, I was trying to uh, put the hammer down, but I guess, well, you know, since it's a double action, uh, it doesn't really matter. Since, uh, you can do that. Okay. All right. Well. I don't know how to fight that, though. You know, you, you gotta take the bullets out of the chamber. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, there's nothing in here. Is there... Huh. Wait a minute. I need to find an exit out of this place. Unless I'm missing something, there's no door. And I can't use doors. Right? Should be Q. Q is to interact, but, uh... Do I have to shoot out the window? Oh no, I'm gonna get damaged. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure there's no door here. Okay, well. Okay, I didn't get hurt. Too bad. But let me uh, reload my gun here. I had three shots. Got two back. So that's five. Oh, okay. Gotta find more tapes. Oh, I have a flashlight. I forgot. Just gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. Because again, I need those tapes. Let's turn off the lights here. Nothing in the bathroom. There might be something in the bedroom, so.
Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I'm glad there was no turret in here. That would have been pretty bad. Ah, there's nothing in this house. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but that's all right. We'll just keep looking. tape Cooper's second rule of gun safety is to never point the gun at something you are not willing to destroy now this seems obvious but is easy to forget in the moment if you are training at the range and a burning hot shell casing falls down your shirt are you prepared to keep the gun pointed at the target uh, if the gun malfunctions are you sure you won't point it sideways to get a better look at what's wrong uh, what if you were preparing to take it apart for routine maintenance? Are you still paying attention to which way the barrel is pointing? Many accidents take place while cleaning guns, because that's often when we let our guard down. All right, I just had my gun open just in case that uh, thing decides to try to kill me again. With its little mind control commands. <laughs> Yo, we got a turret down there. All right. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, no, nope. I want to go down. Okay. Seems to be the only threat here, so I should be okay. Ooh, floppy disk. Actually, I, I got another floppy disk uh, earlier. Okay. Just some background. Don't need to really, uh... I always, always jump to make sure there's nothing up there. Got some uh, turrets down there. Okay, don't see any threats. But there's nothing here, so we'll just keep moving. Hey, we got some balloons over there. Is that a balloon? Well, that might just be a light, but these are balloons, obviously. But first, let me check if there's anything here. 
Please be a tape. Can I get a tape? No tape. I can climb up the water tower. Climbing down is the hardest part. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I just broke my legs. Not good. Not good. Alright, I need, <laughs> need to magically heal my legs. Alright, let's do some target practice. Oh, I missed. At that six o'clock hold. Do we get bullets for uh, shooting these balloons? I think we do. Yeah. All right. And I fired everything, judging by the uh, dimples on the uh, primers there. All those bullets are spent. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's keep going. No tapes. Which is a shame. Maybe. No, nothing. Nothing inside this bucket. Nope. I only found one tape so far. Oh, hey. We got some uh, turrets over there. Hopefully they don't see me. Oh, they saw me. Oh, man. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Got me in the side there. Just had a little, a uh, little piece of me sticking out. <laughs> All right. Five tapes. Five tapes. No flashlight? No flashlight, okay. <laughs> Just had to check. That's bad. There's a turd in there. Oh no, he's on the other side. Oh my goodness. Looks like I can't go anywhere over here, so might as well try to get back up here. I wonder if I can, uh, yeah, maybe take a shortcut over here. <sighs> ha. Floppy disk. Survivors contacting another survivor, huh? Oh, nope. I'll do that. Okay. No tapes. Give me tapes. Come on. Where are the tapes at? Inside the trash? No. <laughs> Just crash into the uh, 
the window. Oh, that's a tape. In the face of frustration, it's normal to feel anger and disappointment. Receivers are trained to understand and accept these feelings and allow them to flow through their mind unobstructed and out the other side, leaving only clarity and resolve. Always put your gun away before you listen to those tapes. Because you never know. When performing at a peak condition, often the deciding factor is mental state. Ideas have a form and a weight. When you become dedicated to an idea, it takes on a new dimension. It becomes denser, tougher to move, intractable. This tenacious stubbornness is required to become a receiver. Gotcha. There's a turret over there. I'm going to crouch. And hopefully he doesn't spot me. Floppy disk, I want that. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Cool, cool stuff. All right, gotta make sure there's nothing that I missed over here. I could use more ammo. And it seems like I can use the elevators now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a bad spot. <laughs> Hopefully no turrets will see me. Ooh, no, no, no. N-O-N-O. Might just reload. Only got one bullet in there. In the face of regret, understand that there was no other way that events could have played out. All you can do is learn from the experience and move on. start sending the tapes out, huh? Alright, well...
Okay, all right. Making sure there are no tapes here. I just need a couple more, just two more, and then I can level up. All I need, two more tapes. No tapes? Oh, man. Aha! All right, good. Nothing up there? Just making sure. Although... It'd be nice if I could grab the ammo. Yep, alright, got it. Alright, let's just climb down here. Bullets. Okay. More bullets. Nice. No tapes, okay. Nope, oh, there's a tape right there. Gotta grab it. Cooper's third rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. There are many physiological reactions that can cause your hand to uh, tighten involuntarily. If your finger is on the trigger and you're surprised or stumble or tighten the other hand, the gun will fire and make a hole in whatever it's pointed at. This is especially important when drawing or holstering. Like takeoffs and landings in aircraft, this is when most accidents occur. If your attention wanders for a second and you try to holster your gun without removing your finger from the trigger, you will shoot yourself in the leg. If you're trying to draw quickly, you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. Okay. One more tape, one more tape. That's all I need is one more tape. Oh, I don't want to jump that gap. Not comfortable with uh, jumping yet. I don't see any turrets, so I'm gonna go down. Oh no! Oh no! Got a turret over here. Got it. I hear another turret, or maybe that's the one I shot, so... Don't know. Just grab that ammo. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! What was that? Aha, I see it. I see you. Need one more tape. That's all I need. One more tape. Aha. Pumpkin. Don't come in the garage. Call your mommy. She 
she will know uh, what to do. Please, please don't go in the garage. It's, it's off limits. It's above daddy. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? So that means I have to unload before I listen to that tape. Okay. Well. Ugh, right. All right, well. All right, I'll, I'll make this fast. Let me see if I can speed run this. Find five tapes. All right, let's go over here. I can't go over here because it's broken. Oh man, where are all the tapes? Come on. That's not a tape. I wish it was. Bullets, bullets, give me bullets. That's a tape. Okay. Past events that have caused recurring negative thoughts and emotions yeah. are called <laughs> mental trauma. This was often the result of a sudden shift in perception. The building blocks of our self-concept are ideas about the world and our place in it. When these ideas turn out to be false, it causes a chain reaction that can threaten every aspect of our life. While removing one brick from a tower can cause it to collapse, that does not have Alright, well, you know what? You saw me get that fifth tape. I'm going to have to do it again, but in another video, because this one is getting a little too long. Oh, uh, next time, unload the gun before you listen to the last tape, because, yeah, that stuff can happen, <laughs> okay? So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll probably play some more of this because uh, it is pretty fun. But man, I gotta remember next time, unload the gun before you listen to that last tape because that <laughs> can happen. All right, well, that's about it for today. And um, I'll see you guys next time.